This is Photoshop, which you've seen a little bit in class so far. I've got one of the examples of a, of a past semester's uh, photo collage up. And I just want to give you the brief whirlwind tour of uh, the interface. You'll see your toolbar over here on the left. And for the most part, there's a, lot, well, there's a lot of things over here, but for the most part, all that you're going to need to really know for this is the Move tool, which is V, the Crop tool, oops, the Crop tool here, which is C, and the Text tool here, which is T. Now, I'll also talk about a couple of more advanced features that you can play around with uh, if you choose to do so, but those are the basics, the most basic ones that you need to do this assignment. Um, in terms of windows over here, you'll see that there are a lot of different things. Um, again, only a few that you really need to focus on for now. If you don't see it, one of the things that you definitely want to get to is your layers window. And you can, if there's ever um, a window that's not open, uh, you can get to it by going to the window menu and then down and, and choose it. So layers here, and you'll see that a, a Photoshop document is basically organized in terms of layers and the top ones are on the top and the bottom ones on the bottom so you can see here in fact layer seven this picture if you can see there actually goes all the way to the end so if I move it to the top it would go all the way over so he actually didn't crop this he just put it on the on the back or on the bottom layer and so this one goes over top of it you can hit the little I button to turn these off turn them back on kind of like muting them and unmuting them and then your text which is usually going on the top um, let's talk about text quickly, um, the T tool. If I hit text, I get this sort of cursor. If I hit T, I get this, this cursor I can click and I, it comes up automatically with lorem ipsum. Um, here is some text. Now this is kind of a, a weird thing when you get, when you have to get out of this, if you hit enter, it's just going to go down one line. So you actually need to, and if you hit V, the keyboard shortcut to go to move, then it's going to put a V in there, and you don't want that. So the two ways you can you can um, get out of actually typing, the easiest one is just to come over here and press the, the tool for the Move tool over here. The other one you can do is Command-Enter, um, and then you'll be out of it, and you can use your keyboard shortcuts. All right, so here's some text, and um, if you double-click out here, not over here but out here on this layer it'll bring up your um, your blending options it says layer style the other way you can do this is to right click on it and go to the very top blending options and um, over here on the left you have the things that will help your text stand out from the background so the main ones are drop shadow and with the drop shadow you can um, change the angle the distance the spread and the opacity and you can also change the color so if I wanted to do an awesome, um, and here's the opacity. If I wanted to do an awesome red drop shadow, I could do it. Um, you can kind of see it moving around there. I'm not recommending this, but you could do it. Um, you can also do things like an outer glow. And if I uncheck these boxes, those things will turn off. And then I click the words and I get the sort of parameters that I can play around with. So I can change again a lot of different things about this. Um, sweet. Can change the color of it too. Not that that looks good. Um, a stroke is another one. Um, and this is sort of like a full outline. Let's do something different. And you can control how many pixels. Oops, I overtook it. You can control how many pixels it is and the opacity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, that's positioned inside. I want to position it outside. There you go. So be subtle. I'm, I'm just showing you how to use them and kind of making crazy things, but be subtle with how you use it. Make sure that it fits with everything you're doing on your collage. Um, and let's talk about um, another window that's very important, which is the paragraph window and the character window. So here they're kind of nested, but again, if you can't find them, go here, character and paragraph down at the bottom. And these will control, the character uh, window will control the font and all the other things that you're used to being able to change about the font. So bold, uh, italic, and um, you can do kerning and letting and things like that, um, the size, etc. cetera. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk about cropping in the other tutorial when I talk about how to set this up. But this is just the basics of how to um, get around in Photoshop with just sort of the essential tools that you need and a little bit about text.